Found an urn with it looks like human remains in there. What's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here, out doing another scuba diving adventure under another bridge that I've been to once before with this guy over here and he found a little pew pew out here. So we're hoping to find something cool today. I got Georgia Ripper boys exploring with Nug, depths of history. And uh, I think we're gonna find something awesome. This bridge produced before and I think it will again and it's lower today. So we're gonna get out here, find some treasure, have some fun. Oh yeah. All right guys, just got out of the water. Everybody's getting out. And hopefully we can find something cool. Let's do it. And we jump right into the river today. It is beautiful outside. This is a bridge I've been to a few different times. As you can see, I jumped right in and I found a fishing pole. I don't know if it's worth much. You guys let me know in the comments. There's also tons of trash in this river. And you know, we always do our best to clean up as much as we can fill up our bags with. This is a really weird item. I don't know what this thing was. A PVC pipe with a nail on it. It's almost like an old weird weapon. And of course we found a tire. We try to pull these out when we can, but it's kind of difficult. And this was really cool. It's an old cash register. It was right in the middle of the heavy current. So I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back and get it. I really wanted to pull that out, but man, it was heavy and halfway buried in the sand. I kept trying. I really wanted this. Oh god. So I swim around a little bit more and I found this little tiny flashlight. It almost looks like a shotgun shell though. And then I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> if you guys know, let me know. And then I found an AR-15 magazine. That was so crazy. I got so excited when I found that. And it even had some ammo left over. As soon as I found that, I'm like, oh, there's got to be a gun. So I was looking for like an hour trying to find the rest of it. And please let me know if you guys know what this is. I'm thinking a car part, but I'm not sure. It could be like some type of old weapon. And we always find these old tape players. It's kind of funny. And I found another flashlight. Check that out. This one's a little bit bigger than the other one. Gotta find these old bottles. I always try to pull out as many as I can. Some of them are worth a lot of money too. And I can't tell you how many times I've ripped holes in our treasure bags. It is so easy, especially when we're collecting sharp objects. Man, I found a big magazine. It's a big old magazine. The guns have gotta be around here. Check it out guys, I think there's like, oh I guess the pipe, but the water is so clear right here, it's crazy. But yeah, right now I'm looking for the gun, it's gotta be close by over All right, here. Alright guys, at this point, I found this urn under the water, and I don't think it really registered what I found, I just kind of picked it up. And after I was looking at it more, I was like, kind of in shock that I found this urn with potential human remains in it. So I just set it over by the rocks. But I wasn't even talking, I didn't even know what to say. So that was kind of crazy and a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. And I found a shoe, a golf ball, there's another tire in the river. And this was a really interesting find. It's actually a piggy bank shaped like a telephone. But it took us a while to figure out what it really was. And gotta find those old boom boxes. <laughs> I 
So at this point, I'm trying to uh, just get all my treasures out and look at it. I was just so intrigued by this telephone. Because I'm like, we do find a lot of phones in the river, but not usually piggy bank shaped telephones. Oh. <laughs> R for river treasure. <laughs> that was a really cool find. Oh. And we came across a safe that looks like it's been cracked open for a long time. I kind of went through it a little bit, but I couldn't find anything. He found a rubber cannonball. Oh, it's rubber? Cannonball to the big ball. Dang. Well, look at that, man. Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a few cool things. Oh, yeah? This is uh, kind of weird. Whoa. I think it's like an old advertisement. Because it's not a phone. I don't see a way to open it. Oh, I see it's a fake phone looking. Fake. Yeah. But it looks old. Yeah. It's supposed to... It's I think, literally, like, it's all together. Like a kid's toy or something? Cut to open. I don't know what it is. Box? Is this like a box disguised as that? Look, dude. It looks like a box. Maybe it's filled up with coins. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a bank. It's a coin bank, I think. Oh, we a, gotta smash that open. Yeah, I think it's a piggy bank. Oh, that is so oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, they put the coins over the top. Look at that. So that's cool. <laughs> and a weird find. Oh, no. no. Well, I don't know if I should take that out of the river or not. Is, is there stuff in there? Still? Yeah. Oh, dude. I found some, uh, an urn with, it looks like, I guess, human remains in there, so. I'm not really sure the best thing to do with this. Place it, probably place it back in the river. Do I don't know. I mean, because it's not gonna. Yeah, it's I'd metal. I'd leave it here. I got one in the house. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could tell the officer first and show him it. Yeah, maybe we'll show the officer first and see what they want to do. Because yeah. I don't want to leave metal in the river, but they're supposed to dump the person in the river, not yeah, not, the urn. not the urn. So, but the best find. It's a tease find, uh, and it's got bullets in it. I was over there looking for the rest of the gun. I'm convinced it's over there. It's over there somewhere. That was just sitting right on top. So that's awesome. Is that an AR? What kind of bullet? So parts of an AR found. I believe I found that room. That is insane. That's ridiculous. You're definitely going to have to call the police on that. It's a tourist. And look at all the serial numbers on it. Yeah, it's got the serial numbers on it. That is That's amazing, dude. And you know that stainless steel. Look, it's not even yeah. really rusty. Heck yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got out of the water and it was a long walk up behind me to get back to my truck, but it was a crazy day today. I found some weird, weird stuff. Now, as you can see, I got a pile here. You know, I got my bottles, a couple of cool bottles. I got a weird drug spoon, R for river treasure. <laughs> and um, some, I don't know what this thing is. It's got a big ball on it. Is that part of a car? I don't know. So this was weird. I didn't know what it was. I, don't think, I thought it was an old like advertising piece at first, but it appears to be like a piggy bank. So I think that's gonna be full of coins. We're gonna cut that open later. You can see the slot up top. So that's really interesting. But the craziest finds for me today were a few different things. I got, of course, I got, we got another pistol. Now that's a, a Taurus revolver, um, 38 special it says. It's still got the numbers on there. So we're about to give the police a call for that and see what they wanna do with it. I also found this big old magazine. Now that is pretty crazy. So uh, you can see the number's got 556 five, on it. So I'm thinking that's for an AR. And that that is crazy. I was looking so hard to try to find the actual gun. I just could not find it. But we're going to turn that in as well. Now, the most weird thing, as you guys can see, is this urn. And it appears to still have human remains or dirt and mud. I don't know exactly what. We're going to ask the police their thoughts on this as well. I might go put it back in the river. I really don't want to do that. 
because I don't like polluting the river, but I don't think that's supposed to really be in there. You're supposed to dump it in there. All right, guys, so let's go give the police a call and see what they have to say about all this stuff. It's crazy. What did you get today, man? Well, first of all, let's start with the real treasures, the one that I consider treasure. Got the nice, nice little oh, sterling silver ring. Got a ring, and it's super frail. Like I was saying, it might be just a decorative piece that went over something. Yeah. Not necessarily for your fingers. That's cool. But it says sterling on the inside, so it might be an old ring. Uh, got me a little marble. Marbles, believe it or not, can be valuable. Older ones. And I've got a handful of tokens, and these ones were the best ones I could find at the time. But uh, like these two are amusement tokens, but they're early 1900s, and I don't know what that is. Dang. But it's some kind of something something those are those excite me most <laughs> believe it or not because we find guns all the time Yeah, yeah. whatever these are real treasures. That's but. awesome. All right So I heard you got something really cool too. some some awesome items, you know same old same old but There's my pile of treasures that I found. What's that? Dang. Let's just say I found three really old guns and some brass Dang. knuckle knives. That's crazy. If you guys want to see all of his finds up close and personal, you're going to have to go to Exploring with Nug's channel and check out his video. And uh, give him a subscribe too while you're there. Okay. Nug Nation. All right, man. Georgia River Boys over here. Yes, yes. You got some cool stuff too today, I heard. Yeah, you know, um, I found this sock. And inside the sock, we had all these bullets. And I think it's like 12 gauge maybe. Dang. But they're all inside there. Gas cap, you know, just a few little things, but I got one of the. Yeah, that is crazy, man. You can still see the, the bottom. It has not went off yet. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, That's no wild. Problem, you might not want to uh, throw that around the truck too, too yeah, hard. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, guys. So Britton actually found some really cool stuff too, man. So what did you get? Oh. I found Got a whole bunch of stuff. A nine mil pistol, and uh, it does have some serial numbers right there. Dang. Read them very clearly. That's crazy. I also got this like lead ingot or something. I guess that's pretty cool. Heck yeah. That was one of the cooler finds. And then I also got a horseshoe <laughs> and a license. Which is pretty cool. Dang. And I also got like some trash and other things like that. But so, so since we both found pistols, we're actually going to be calling the police here a minute and yes. seeing what they want to do with them. And I'm excited to actually see what they say about the guns and oh, that yeah. urn and I found because that's really yeah. weird, man. That is. It's not every day you find some human remains in the river. It's just pretty creepy. Yeah. So that's the truth. We're gonna call them and see what they have to say. This is not an emergency, but I was scuba diving in the river uh, with a bunch of my buddies, and we came across a couple of handguns and an actually an urn with all right guys so we just gave the police a call and they're on their way they're sending out an officer so we're gonna see what the reaction is to all the stuff that we found it should be pretty crazy and uh we came across a few firearms today and also um an urn we believe it has possible human remains yeah there's a couple different finds um he's got the gun and then we found this yeah that artillery and, shell like a thing and then all these uh Oops. All the 12 gauge. Dang. That's that's the other one. And then we got this urn, and I wasn't sure what to do, so we figured we'd ask your opinion. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's a kind of a mixture of ashes and mud and stuff, but. I think if, would you find it open like that? I mean, it was like on its side, kind of. Like with no lid? Yeah. Okay. So. I would probably put it back. Put it back. Somebody yeah. may have put it there intentionally. For a reason. Because um, it's one of their loved ones. And it's got some ammo in it still. So. All right. Ooh. And that one has the serial numbers. I don't know if, the, if, I'd love to know if it's stolen. I don't know if you can run and, and let us know. That'd be really awesome. But. Well, I'm and we're gonna keep live streaming this for y'all. Hey, we're hiring. <laughs> try to, I'm gonna point. Well, the barrel's already pointed that way, but I'm gonna try to open it so I don't want to. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Proper guns. Uh, let's 
this an unknown make high point name is 089895 yeah I think that one's been down there a little while Hotel Golf. I was looking for the rest of the gun, but that's all I could find. That's oh, a shame. This is a nice magazine. I know. Yeah, right? We were looking all. I'm sure it's out there. It's just. Do you think they'll end up just like destroying it, you think, probably, or going into evidence? Uh, it will go to the evidence department, but it won't go in as evidence to a crime because they're not stolen. They're, and not, stolen. they're not stolen? No. Oh, they're not reported? Oh, okay. Wow. So. That's surprising. There was a, a literal 50-50 on that, but yeah. yeah. All right. All right, we appreciate it. Once after all this is done, do you want to go put that urn back? Yeah, we can go take that back and I guess put that back in we'll the river. We'll keep the live stream on when we do. Um, I can take that guy from you. Enjoy your day, fellas. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Is that it? So this seems like a nice, peaceful kind of area, you know, on the beach. A little ways. We're out under the bridge, so it's kind of like... A nice spot. Yes. I guess we'll put right in here. You know, I hope it just continue to rest in peace. Whoever, you know, we don't know who we don't know who this is. So whoever it is, we just you know pray that you stay peaceful, rest peacefully, and hopefully we didn't disturb. You know, we were just trying yes, to clean up and do everything. So trash and do, do what we could. And... So we're gonna put it back and just you know pray that they continue pray to that rest they peacefully continue and continue to rest peacefully. Yes. Bank here guys, this old telephone piggy bank. I don't even know if this is gonna cut it open. So yeah, right now we're gonna cut open this piggy bank that I found and see if there's any coins in there. I don't know. I'm gonna try to keep it, the front. I'm gonna put that in my treasure room, but I'm gonna try to cut open the back. I don't know if this knife is sharp enough or not. Oh. Uh-oh. Here, let me, I'll hold your, uh... Uh, it Watch your fingers. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Well, I kind of want to cut a square so I don't ruin this thing. If I start seeing coins fall out, I'm going to... Let me... Uh... We have it. Rocks. That's a big old rock going to go in there. I'm assuming it was emptied out, but... I don't know. We don't see anything promising. Kind of look the same color as those ashes. Well, it looks like it's empty. That's so cool, though. So I'll put that in my treasure room. It's still a cool little phone. A little treasure there, so that's pretty cool. Might sift through this, but I don't see any coins, so it's probably just dirt. But it's kind of impressive that it filled completely up with dirt just through this little tiny hole in the back. <laughs> 